Do you want to try to work for yourself instead of slogging away at a nine to five job? Do you want to be financially independent so that you don't have to rely on a monthly paycheck? If you answered yes, then drop shipping is the answer to most, if not all your prayers. Drop shipping has been all the rage recently, and apparently the emerging leader in drop shipping is none other than Etsy. Yes, the same Etsy that you might associate with quirky and eccentric handmade products. Contrary to popular belief, it's an amazing platform to start a drop shipping business on. The popularity of Etsy has been increasing at a phenomenal rate, and it's all thanks to drop shipping. But you might still not know what drop shipping is and how you can even get started with it. If you don't know what it is, fret not because I'm here to save the day. My name is Grace from PrintVest, your print-on-demand partner, and I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about this amazing and liberating business model. Make sure to leave a like on this video because it'll immensely help you out in getting started. And don't forget to share this video as much as possible so that we can help as many people as we can. So what is drop shipping? So for those of you who don't know, drop shipping is a really simple concept that doesn't take long to master. It's basically a business model where the seller, which is you, doesn't have to manufacture or process any goods. So how this works is you only need to fulfill the orders and it doesn't matter who delivers it as long as the buyer gets it. Traditionally, entrepreneurs had to invest in some sort of inventory to even begin. For each product sold by these old school entrepreneurs, they had to themselves buy a minimum number of units. Things got even more complicated when the particular item came in different sizes because the sellers had to have all of those sizes in stock. However, drop shipping gets rid of all of this hassle and gets straight to business. There's a huge risk of some items being unsold with the traditional model, while drop shipping eliminates that. You only need to pay when the buyer has paid you, which means that you don't even need to invest a lot of money either. So number two, why Etsy? Now coming on to the second most burning question on your mind, why Etsy and why not Amazon or Shopify? eBay or something else? The answer to this question is quite simple. It's all very subjective. Everyone has their own favorites and yours might differ from other sellers. Some people choose Etsy because of its niche customer base. This customer base is specifically there to buy boutique type products. Whereas the people who use traditional shopping platforms aren't necessarily there to buy handmade products. They might be looking for electronics or groceries or any of the other million things sold on there. Most of those who go to Amazon or eBay will not be concerned with your creativity because all they want is the cheapest and the greatest. Etsy attracts a lot of people who are into creative things and enjoy the little things in life, unlike the buyers who might not be as interested in these products. These customers will be more likely to pay a justifiable price for your effort, and you're more likely to become popular among them. While some people also choose Etsy because of its simplicity and its ease of use. Compared to other platforms, Etsy is very user-friendly and setting up your own store will feel like a cakewalk. You don't need any coding skills, knowledge of designing a store, or even much time. You can just dive headfirst into building a fully functional online store. So if you don't wanna keep slogging away for pennies, Etsy is your best bet since it'll help you connect to its existing network of consumers. But now that you know what drop shipping is and why Etsy might be a better choice for you than another platform, it's time to learn how to get started with the juicy part, making money. So number three, start selling. The first thing you need to do before you can start drop shipping is to choose a niche. Since Etsy is a vast marketplace where all kinds of creative goods are sold, you can sell hundreds of different items to make a profit. A good strategy would be to sell what you're interested in and what you can do the best. If you're great at designing t-shirts, then you can sell some funky t-shirt designs by you. Even if you don't know how to design a t-shirt graphic yet, you can also watch our previous video and it'll explain all of that. Whatever you choose, make sure you do your due diligence so that you don't end up choosing a niche that just has no demand. However, if you still wanna know which niches are the best, then we've also got a video for that as well. Once you've decided on your niche, you need to find a good supplier who can make the deliveries for you on time. This is crucial as your reputation as a seller depends on the timely delivery and quality of goods. If you're looking for a reliable and cost-effective solution, then we at PrintVest have been serving multiple sellers like you without any issues. We know how important the quality of printing is. And we also realize that the only acceptable delivery is a timely one. So once your search for a supplier is finished, you can start creating your storefront on Etsy. This will allow the buyers to browse through your offerings and decide what they wanna buy. Make sure to utilize some great copywriting if you want maximum conversions. This step is pretty simple since Etsy will guide you through on how to establish your store and start selling. You can also go the other route and establish your own store, but that'll be much more complicated and costly to do. For beginners, Etsy and other established platforms are the best choice 
since they allow you to leverage their own customer base for a small commission. All of the steps that we've discussed until now are more than enough to get you started. However, you'll want to acquire more customers if you wanna grow further. So to do this, you have to develop and implement a strategy to acquire more customers. You can either choose to pay for acquiring new customers by utilizing Facebook campaigns, Google ads, influencer marketing, and more. Or you can start your own social media page, blog, website, and email marketing, which you can all do yourself for free. Whatever you choose to do depends on your budget and your expectations. If you can afford the paid options, by, by all means, go ahead if it has some feature that you can't find anywhere else. Lastly, you'll need to scale your business according to the demand because it's a principal force guiding the market. There are so many different strategies to do this as well, and you can try automating some aspects of the business, hiring domain experts, outsourcing the non-critical tasks, introducing more products, and more. These are some of the steps that you should take if you want to be successful at dropshipping on Etsy. It's a whole new world out there and you'll realize there's so much more you can do to augment your income once you get your feet wet. So gear up for the journey that lies ahead and get started with dropshipping as soon as you can. So that's it for this video, folks. We hope you enjoyed the video and found some value in it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more of these amazing videos. So we'll see you again next time with a brand new video.